we had a couple rules uh, that I think really helped. Uh, we never left each other without having um, a trip planned for when we were going to see each other again. So as soon as we were gone from each other, we had something to look forward to, or at least we knew when it was going to happen, even if it was, I think probably the longest we went was eight weeks. But we implemented a few months into our relationship was we couldn't communicate or show sadness when we were leaving each other. Because, you know, we do these quick trips where it'd be like two or three days and, you know, the first day is awesome. The second day is great. But then the third day you're leaving. So the second evening you're sad and all day you're the third day you're sad. And it felt like it was just like a consistent like rhythm of being sad. And so we said, hey, you know what? Like, let's just try to implement to the best of our abilities. The fact that now we're just going to talk about how excited we are to see each other again. Um, that when we say goodbye, we're like, can't wait to see you again. And if somebody needed to break down or somebody needed to get all upset, they could do that, you know, maybe when they're away. But it added like an excitement and a joy to our relationship because there wasn't this like maybe allowance for the space for us both to kind of be mourning saying goodbye to each other.